let's open up action number one. And at the bottom where we left this blank action to run after, we're going to select action number two, which was get collection name. And if we head on over to action number two, we can see that that option isn't available. So instead we're going to add an action and we're going to add a run flow action. So this is going to allow us to add in that sequential action. So run flow number three. And as you can imagine, now we're going to go over to action number three. And again, we're going to add a run flow action. And we are going to add to run action number four. And so now we have our sequential actions. So after action number one runs, let's run action number two. After action number two runs, we're going to run action number three. And after action number three runs, we're going to run action number four. So the last action that we actually need to set up is to open up our URL once our button is clicked. In this action, we're going to build the URL using the variables that we've created in the other action steps. So we're going to create a new flow and this is going to be action five and we'll call this open URL. And the action that we're looking for is actually called open URL as well. So we'll add that in and at URL here, we're going to scroll to the bottom and we're going to click concatenate. And the first part is the first part of the URL that we want to open. So it's the first part of our rarity tools URL. So we can essentially hard code this in because it's not going to be changing. So we have rarity.tools backslash. Now we need to add another value there. So this is now where we're going to add in our variables. Cause as you can see, we have rarity.tools, but now we have our formatted collection name is what we want to add after that. And our variable is going to be our uh, lower case formatted collection name. So it doesn't look like it showed up here. Uh, sometimes that happens, but let's just copy and paste it in. It should be matched by name. So we'll just copy in our variable name here and we'll go back to open URL and we'll just paste it in. So lowercase collection is what we're appending to the end of uh, the first part of the URL here. And now we're going to add another value. This is going to be text and this is going to be backslash view with another uh, backslash there. So if we go back into our rarity tools here, we can see there's view right here. So now we've added that. And then the last value that we want to add is our uh, formatted number. So we're going to go from variable and our formatted asset number is here. So now we have all parts of the rarity tools URL that we want to open and we're going to open it in a new tab. So that's the default and we'll keep it that way. Great. So that's our last action or our last flow that we needed to create. So if we now click into our button and then go to events, on click, we want to add that last action that we just created, which is open URL. So now that action number five is linked to clicking the button as opposed to running sequentially after the first four flows or four actions that we created. So now we just need to map a few more things. We need to let Builder know that we want our first action or first flow to load right away. So Let's open up the flows here and go down to page load. And page binding is there by default. I'm going to add an action after page binding. And we're going to add our run flow on page action. And what we want to do is we want the current page and we want action number one. So this is saying on load. So as soon as this extension is opened up, run action number one, run our first flow. Great, next we just need to map our page title element to its variable. So we'll click into page title here, and in data, we will select our variable, which is 
page title. So that's going to be a dynamic variable that's going to load the specific tab or page title every time that the extension is opened. So now that's been mapped and we didn't need to set a value for our button for the check rarity here. That's not a variable. It's just going to stay saying check rarity every time it opens. So that's totally fine. So now we have to add just one more flow to display our page info. So it just will help us map our page title dynamic variable to this last flow, which is going to tell Builder at the end of all of these flows, please display the page info. So we'll add an action here. We're going to set the element. set value and the element that we want to set the value for is our page title and the value we want is from a variable that we already created and it's on the current page and it's our page title variable so this is just letting builder know please display the page info uh, the page title as this dynamic variable and we're going to let Builder know when to do that, which is after the last sequential action. So we'll add a run flow on page action here. And so after those first four actions on the current page, instead of action five, which opens up our button, we want to display page info. And that's gonna be our last step for connecting everything and mapping everything together. So let's just double check here. So action one leads to action number two. Action two leads to action number three, and action three leads to action number four. Action four displays the page info, which is the page title, and action number five opens the URL when the button is clicked. In the next video, we'll export our Chrome extension and test it out.